Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to manage DNS server role with Windows Admin Center. To manage DNS server role using Windows Admin Center, we need to install DNS extension in Windows Admin Center. Be sure you are running the latest version of Windows Admin Center, which is 2306 at the time of this video recording. You can download it from Microsoft website aka.ms slash wsc download. Already I have created a video on how to install and use Windows Admin Center earlier. Check out that video first. Link is in description. Windows Admin Center is built as an extensible platform where each connection type and tool is an extension that we can install, uninstall and update individually. We can search for new extensions published by Microsoft and other developers and install and update them individually without having to update the entire Windows Admin Center installation. Click the Settings button in the top right corner. Under Gateway, click on Extensions. The Available Extensions tab will list the extensions on the feed that are available for installation. Click on DNS. Here we can see the extension description, version, publisher and other information. Click Install to install selected extension which is DNS in our case. After installation is complete, a browser will automatically be refreshed and Windows Admin Center will be reloaded with the new extension installed. We can also go to the Installed Extensions tab to view installed extensions and see if an update is available in the Status column. Go to Installed Extensions. We can confirm that DNS extension is installed successfully in Windows Admin Center. Now we will need to connect to a DNS server in our environment to manage DNS server role. The DNS option only shows up in the context of managing a DNS server with Windows Admin Center. Click on Windows Admin Center. Click on WS2022-DC01 server to connect to our local DNS server. After connecting to our DNS server, we will see the DNS menu listed underneath Tools. Click on DNS. We can see the DNS zones and their entries with the new DNS extension from Windows Admin Center. With DNS extension, we can also create records of host type, CNAME or MX. Existing DNS entries and their properties such as AQDN, IP address or TTL can be edited. The tool also allows us to create PTR type entries under a reverse lookup zone. To use the DNS extension, the PowerShell DNS module must be installed on the target server. For testing purpose, let's create a new DNS zone. Under forward lookup zones, Click on Create a new DNS zone. First, we have to select the zone type for this new zone. It can be primary, secondary and stub zone. We will go with primary zone type. Next, specify the zone name. We can create standard DNS zone or Active Directory integrated DNS zone. Choose Store the zone in Active Directory option to make this zone Active Directory integrated. This option available only if the destination server is a domain controller. For dynamic DNS update, select Allow only secure update option, which is recommended for DNS server with Active Directory. Now click on Create button to create new Active Directory integrated DNS zone. We can see the confirmation DNS zone created successfully. Click on Newly created DNS zone. Now we will create a new host record which is pointer from the name to the IP address. Click on create a new DNS record under amaseptivebcast.inzone. The record can be host record, CNAME or MX. 
we will go with ip version 4 host record type the record name based on record name and dns zone name the fully qualified domain name populate automatically which is web.msftwebcast.in in our case now type the ip address associated with the host record this is the internal ip address so we don't need a pointer record because it's not going to be an active directory type of name this is just going to be a simple host record name click on create and wait for the confirmation message we can confirm that new host record is created successfully on the amaseptivewebcast.in dns zone let me click on cancel to edit the existing record select the record and at the top click on edit menu from here we can easily edit the existing dns record click on cancel click on reverse lookup zones click on create a new dns zone from here we can easily create a reverse lookup zone if required we have the same options as forward lookup zones let's right click on start menu and select windows powershell admin at powershell type command ping web.msftwebcast.in and press enter key as you can see ping command has successfully resolved the ip address of fqdn web.msftwebcast.in this is the record which we have created using windows admin center that's all for this video on how to manage dns server with windows admin center using dns extension i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions and suggestions please let me know in the comment section thank you all for watching this video have a nice day